Welcome once again. So far in this program, we have looked at understanding what is entrepreneurship. We have also answered questions such as what makes a successful entrepreneur? What traits and characteristics define the entrepreneur? Then we have learned some key skills like communication and design thinking. Now, in this lesson, we will learn another skill, selling. We are some selling techniques such as personal selling and show and tell. But before we do that, we have to step back and understand who it is that we are selling to. Who are the people who buy and use the products or services that entrepreneurs create? Let us make an effort to understand these people called customers. Each one of you would have been in the customer's shoes at some point, right? And at that time, you would have demanded excellent service and quality in exchange for the money that you paid. Well, when you become an entrepreneur, you will be in the position where you have to provide that excellence. So, how do you understand what your customer wants? More importantly, how do you get to know your customers? Who is he? What does he want? Etc. Let's jog our memories a bit. Do you recall being asked to fill out a form, say after eating dinner at a restaurant or during checkout at a department store? And does that remind you of the incorrect answers you wrote in those forms just for fun? Hmm, I hope I have set you thinking. Have I? Now that you're thinking, are you wondering why you were asked personal questions about your gender, age, marital status, education, profession, and then more specific questions such as how often you dine out, your preferred dishes, what you like most about the restaurant, whether it is the atmosphere, the cleanliness, or the service. Seems like the restaurant owner was really making you pay. Well, jokes apart, the owner or the entrepreneur is doing something very significant. He's trying to gain deep insights or understanding about his customers. Because the more you know about your customers, the better you can market your products and services, and more importantly, meet their needs and satisfy them. This process of getting to know your customers is termed as customer profiling. This is done with the help of two sets of data, demographics and psychographics. Phew, big words, aren't they? Well, they sound complicated, but aren't. So let's see. Demographics help to classify customers on the basis of specific and personal information, such as their age, gender, marital status, race, income, education, and so on. This is primary information, and it tells you who your customer is. Psychographics help to classify customers based on psychological factors such as their opinion, their needs, motivation, attitude, and lifestyle. These are internal and psychological traits but can be identified. This information is gathered so that you get to know your customer better. It tells you why the customer might buy or use your product. While it is fairly easy to get demographic data, getting psychographic data requires careful planning. Let's understand this with the help of the restaurant example. The restaurant owner obtained your demographic details such as age, gender, phone number, address, and marital status from the form that you filled out. This was straightforward information. He also obtained some psychographic information about you through more targeted questions which were asked to understand your behavior. For example, questions such as how often you dine out, your preferred dishes, your opinion about the setup and cleanliness of the restaurant, and when and why you visit the restaurant. Questionnaires and surveys are only one of the many ways to gather information. You can also obtain information through observation, personal interview, and website data analytics. Going back to our restaurant example, the owner will probably appoint someone who will closely observe the diner's orders, 
their attitude towards the service staff and their body language or expression with respect to the food and the atmosphere. The appointed person may also walk up to each table and personally ask for feedback on all these parameters and whether or not they would recommend this restaurant to their friends and family. This is an example of personal interview. Finally, how can anything be complete without the web in today's day and age? And this is where data analytics of websites come in handy. Website data analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing data through the web. If the restaurant owner has a website, he will appoint someone to find out details of how many people visited their site, how many of those visitors were unique visitors, what keywords they searched, how long they stayed on the site, and what links did they click on, and when did they leave the site. This information will help the owner to understand what sort of customers order food online, what prompts them to do so, and how often they do it. For example, it is the discount codes or the occasion such as birthday parties and anniversaries of friends and family. This information is critical for a business because the motivation of the customers to buy a product is revealed by their behaviors and actions. That wasn't tough, right? Demographic and psychographic profiling helps you to get to know your customer and you do this through surveys, questionnaires, observation, and website data analytics. You know, whether you become an entrepreneur or not, whenever you are in the position of selling something, whether it is an idea, a concept, a product, or a service, understanding your customer is key. And if you do choose to be an entrepreneur, you can make the effort to know your customer using the methods explained here in this video and enjoy the success that will follow. But that may be a long way off, so why don't we practice this through an activity for now?